and uh, good afternoon, good morning, uh, wherever you may be. Uh, appreciate spending uh, a little time this afternoon with us to, to learn more about Starship uh, and its capabilities and all its features that it can offer to you as we help migrate you off of ship gear and into Starship here by the end of the year. Um, but again, um, as Megan mentioned, please put any questions into the pane so we can answer those at the end of the presentation. Uh, so I have a very short presentation and then we'll kind of get into a quick demonstration for everybody uh, and show you kind of what Starship can do with QuickBooks. Uh, but just a little background, most of you know who we are, uh, but just to give you a little bit of a history here. So Starship itself has been around since 1989. Um, so very long history with Starship. Uh, it's not a new product by any means um, to any of us. Um, but again, longstanding history here. We've been in the QuickBooks space really from the early 2000s, so about 2002, we started our QuickBooks integration, which is um, all connected via um, directly with Intuit. Uh, we do not use any outside connectors or anything like that with third-party companies. It is a direct integration that we do offer to you. Um, and again, we were offered, or we were awarded, I should say, earlier this year with uh, the Premier Partner Award from UPS as well, uh, working very closely with their teams and kind of enhancing the integrations that we do offer. Uh, so very proud to get that award um, and be recognized by a company like UPS as well. So uh, very proud of that. And then we also are a QuickBooks solutions provider, I should mention as well. Um, so we do help some customers kind of with any licensing needs, uh, things of that nature as well. So that is something we could potentially speak to you about as well if you are interested. Um, so I first want to um, kind of start off the presentation talking about why would you use a multi-carrier solution? And that's what Starship really is. It's a multi-carrier solution. It's not a middleware, middleware software program like Shipgear. Um, it's designed to kind of incorporate all of your, um, you know, LTL and parcel carriers and anybody of that nature into one application and allow you to use one uh, portal to process those documents as needed. Um, so just a little bit um, kind of out there and, and customers who have, um, you know, moved over to a multi-carrier solution, um, you know, have recognized savings up to 20% um, on their shipping costs because of the fact that when you have everything in one place and you have an ability to rate shop each shipment, you have that choice to make to move um, your transportation um, spend to a different carrier where you might not have done it before because of you know, just comfort or you don't have an application, say with post office or FedEx, right? So you may basically um, have the option here of incorporating those other carriers into Starship so you can see potential savings for you. Um, these are basically, when you look out there, why you know, someone uses it, really these five bullets stand out. Really being a cost-effective solution, right? Again, being able to compare rates on one platform, not having the users go out to individual portals to pull individual rates for the same shipment. That's very time consuming, which leads to the next bullet point, right? Not being able to log in to six different websites. Again, very time consuming, could take 20 minutes, 30 minutes potentially in some cases to do all that work where Starship can basically do that within a minute or less, right? So again, that also allows you to do that. <coughs> Um, having multiple delivery services on one platform. Um, again, being able to you know, utilize the correct service level for specific shipments. So those that can move a slower pace like ground or maybe like a, a sure post service versus you know, an expedited service where it needs to meet critical timelines. Um, Starship allows you to set those correctly um, so that way you can have the ability um, to basically select the correct services you need for that specific shipment you're using. Uh, or being the specific to me, you're shipping, um, you know, that way you can get there on time when you need it. Um, and then being flexible and adaptable, having a solution that can really tailor the shipping strategy based on specific needs of your customer, right? So you can go back and kind of, you know, tweak the solution as needed for specific customers, right? And having that flexibility when you're using single carrier applications like WorldShip or Ship Manager, not really flexible or adaptable in those cases, they are what they are and they offer what they offer. Um, and then lastly, the, probably one of the most important ones, reduce risk of delays and disruptions. Um, if you are just using say UPS WorldShip today um, and that's the only carrier you have coming in every day, if you know for whatever reason UPS fails to pick up packages, 
if they have you know an issue in their system and operation um, to move to a different carrier on on the fly um, is very difficult to do when you don't have another application to back up. Starship provides that you know option to you where you can incorporate all different carriers, including say FedEx, post office, as you need it as maybe a backup solution, right? So you can easily switch those shipments to that carrier and have that carrier make the pickup so packages can move through the system easily. So again, as you look at Starship, right, this is kind of what we do, right? This, we've addressed all those points, um, kind of, you know, impacting maybe some challenges you're experiencing with those single carrier applications, right? And some of the main features, again, not to address all of these, but really, it's again incorporate all of your parcel carriers together. Any LTL carriers you may be shipping with as well can be combined into the application. And then we're using your discounted rates essentially to be able to rate shop and show you what's the best option for you in a particular case. Um, one of the other main features here, um, we're very proud that you know we recently can now offer you discounted UPS from discounted USPS. Uh, CEC rates, you know, which recently came out back in July. Um, for a lot of customers, these are significantly reduced rates for the post office. This can also add to some savings when you look at transportation spend. So again, if you're not using post office today or use it a little bit, um, this will give you that feature um, here that shows you potential savings uh, that you could take advantage of and kind of keep those costs down uh, for your uh, company. Again, leveraging line item details, another main differentiator from Shipgear, right? Being able to pull line items so we can process different documents like international documents, a bill of lading for LTL. If you're a hazmat shipper, we can print your hazmat forms, et cetera. So having the ability to store this information is key for us so we can seamlessly do this with your shipping labels. Um, and then another point here, live rate shopping I mentioned, right? Again, being able to show you those rates in real time you know, having the ability to customize email notifications that go out either in real time or at the end of the day uh, using our built-in um, e-notify program, and as well as having a full metrics, right? And one of the points of today's webinar is kind of review that with you a little bit and kind of show you kind of what advanced, you know, analytics you can get from Starship, having that, you know, information at your fingertips and really readily available so you can have those discussions with reps um, internally, uh, and make those decisions that you need to make to advance your company forward. When we look at cloud, why are we looking to move to cloud? Um, again, Starship's always on the latest version. Um, we have accessibility to all the carriers, unlimited users. So again, you can have as many users running the application as you need to. Manage seasonality, so you're in full control of your own pricing anytime. So if you need to go up or down, you can make those changes very easily. Um, restricting access to users, right? So you may want to provide um, users certain access to the platform and what they can and can't do as administrators, and then also reduce the IT expenses. Right now with Shipgear, you may be using FedEx and UPS, you may be just using a single carrier, um, but again, someone internally or outside IT source has to come in and run those upgrades for multiple platforms, which adds a lot of cost to the bottom line of a company. Um, so we, in turn, have used Starship, right, to say, hey, we don't need those expenses any longer, right? Starship does its thing overnight. You come in in the morning, log in, and it's all done for you, right? So there's no uh, extra expenses needed when you use something like Starship in the cloud uh, for your shipping. <clears throat> this is just a quick view of the various carriers that we do support today. So we have about 20 or so carriers here. Uh, that we support today between Parcel and LTL. Um, so we have a few 3PLs as well in here that we can support. Um, we have the capability of supporting others. Um, we just have some workarounds that we would discuss with you. So if we don't see a carrier that may be on this list, doesn't mean we can't help you potentially, uh, but Jason or Alicia, who's also on our call today, um, or myself, we can talk to you about your workflows and identify if it's something we can work with or not. Um, and provide some more uh, information around that as well. Um, and I have a couple of testimonials here to share, right? Um, you know, with a customer of ours that, you know, we're, was using Shipgear uh, and then made the transition over to Starship at one point. Um, and basically, again, you know, not to read this verbatim here, but again, it's just, you know, showing you here, you know, basically eliminating the inefficiency and duplicate data entry between their accounting software, which was QuickBooks, 
right, and UPS and FedEx, right, as their business began to grow and diversify to other products, and up, you know, they decided to upgrade the Starship, right, and one of the owners there uh, has pointed out as we expanded to big box distributors uh, that purchased pallet loads of product at a time, we were doing a lot more ground freight with Starship, you know, supports today, uh, and they needed a shipping software that could interface with more carriers and manage more complexity. That's what Starship can do, right, being able to give you that additional, um, you know, interface that can say, hey, bring additional carriers into the mix. We can support them and we can show you what we can do uh, as far as, you know, handling those complexities that you need. Um, another customer of ours was using, you know, um, you know, LTL kind of manually, right? I'm kind of using, you know, <clears throat> you know, the ability to print their bill of lading out of Starship, right? A lot less data entry. They were using a manual um, bill of lading themselves and printing that each and every day. Right, that time savings alone was huge for them and kind of saving them a lot of time and making them more productive. But again, a lot of these, you know, and there's other testimonials out there from other customers that have made the switch, right? And this is just kind of just to show you kind of what you potentially can experience as well by migrating over um, here in the next few months. <clears throat> so um, kind of here before I turn it into a demo um, to show you what we can do. Um, <clears throat> just want to talk about a few things, right? So we don't want to let the time run out clearly, right? So we're running up against the, you know, end of life here. We have about a little, little over three months remaining. Um, obviously, as we all know, it's a limited integration at this point. There are no more bug fixes. There are no more enhancements being done. Um, all of our resources are behind the Starship Cloud product at this time. Um, it's old technology, right? So we are not spending any time behind the scenes continuing to make it run. So as we continue on and we start running into potential issues with either with UPS or FedEx, um, we may start seeing some customers, you know, systems start to kind of break down, right? And those unfortunately are not gonna become, you know, something we're gonna manage in a timely fashion or if at all, right? So we now need to make the switch over to Starship if we're gonna go anywhere. Um, we still have about 500 plus customers running ship gear today. So we have a lot of work ahead of us over the next three months. Uh, to get people to you know, commit and get into our schedule so we can get them up and running as quickly as we can. Um, we are currently booked into the middle of November, right? So if you do make a commitment even today, the earliest we're going to be looking at um, getting you into our schedule today would be middle of November. And that is continuing to be extended out um, as each and every day that we continue to come in. Uh, we have more and more customers making that commitment to moving over to Starship, and that's continuing to add to the backlog. Um, so just keep that in mind as you make your decisions um, that, you know, we are soon going to be into December and then soon into the new year, um, you know, which we want to get you in before that happens. Um, promotional pricing, we have another promotion running this month, which I'll talk about at the end, uh, but that could also be changing here very soon um, or if at all continue to be offered. Um, so you definitely want to take advantage of any promotions that we're running. And then also one of the things that just came out this week. Um, our implementation fees that we have been charging are going to be increasing slightly uh, starting in October. Um, so we definitely want to take advantage of any of those, you know, implementation fees that might be still around for the next few weeks uh, before that increase does go into play as well. So, um, so again, definitely want to make uh, this kind of a sense of urgency um, to all of you joining us today, but uh, want to make sure you're aware that you know, the, the time is ticking and, you know, we have to get you into Starship here sooner than later, um, if you like. So let me change gears here and kind of walk through the demonstration of Starship. Um, let me make sure my timed out. Okay. So when you get into Starship, again, it's cloud-based. So you're going to log in, as I'm doing right now. Um, and as you log in, <clears throat> you're going to come essentially to your home screen. Um, so this URL will be dedicated to your company. You will bookmark that. You will sign in every day. <clears throat> and then as you save orders or invoices in QuickBooks, they automatically appear here in the window for you for you to ship against. Just like Shipgear, we have the ability here to scan in the order, right? Type in the order number, uh, and that will auto-populate into Starship. Now, saying that, I always get the question, how do I use WorldShip with Starship? You don't, right? World Ship, Ship Manager, Post Office, all of those go out the door. Starship is your new best friend, right? This is your main place you're going to come into every day. Um, again, you can type in the order here if you like. You can also use the shortcuts off to the right, 
these little truck icons and pull your order in that way if you prefer. Um, either one is gonna be absolutely fine. Um, so as you pull your order in, um, everything's gonna be in one page for you to show you exactly what is you know, your shipping. <coughs> so again, top half here, you're not gonna have to do much unless if you might be a drop shipper and you have to change your ship from address from time to time. Um, we can talk to you about that if we do more of a private demo, uh, but we can change addresses for drop shippers if we need to. But if you're not drop shipping, we default this to your address. The recipient information comes in from QuickBooks. We do an address validation for you checking the street address. We also check for residential versus commercial to make sure that we are charging the correct rates um, to your customer if need be. Uh, the middle section, again, we're just mapping in the ship via from QuickBooks. So this came in via your UPS ground account uh, here um, as prepaid. Uh, but just note, there is opportunity here to set up third-party IDs. So if you are um, shipping third-party and billing your customers' accounts, we can set up um, additional third parties. So that way we'd have a full drop-down list here um, with all those associated. And then if we need to map any account numbers in, we can do that as well to automate the process so we can place that account number into this field for you versus you manually typing it. So again, that's an option for you as well, okay? Uh, but after that, I mean, this is your accessorial section. Those, this is just gonna cover whichever carrier you've selected. They're gonna show you the options here that are available to you. So things like insurance, CODs, um, quantum view is built into here for um, you know, any exception emails that you need to send out. You have five email addresses you can store um, in Starship if you like. Uh, but again, you can set up conditions so these can be automatically triggered. You can click the boxes manually. We allow you to set them up however you feel uh, is warranted and whatever is going to be easiest for you here as well. Um, and then down here, one of the main differences is that you're going to see that we have just like World Shipper Ship Manager, we have our full packaging database. So I can store ahead of time your various box names with these corresponding dimensions um, along with its weights. Uh, we do support dimensional weight. That's what this column is representing here. Um, but what I could do here, and I don't have to, it's not a requirement, but if I open all these up, you're gonna see various items on the different boxes. I have something called packaging scenarios that I can set up to define that ahead of time. I can default all my items in the one box. You can add cartons as needed. You don't have to put items in the boxes if you don't want to. They can all be just defaulted to one box and you can add additional boxes as needed. So again, many different options and combinations, um, whatever is gonna be easiest for you to manage. Um, but again, we kind of make this very similar in this case um, to any other carrier application out there to define which box you're shipping. The only thing we're gonna require is essentially your weight. Um, you can get away without dimensions, but not recommended, clearly. So. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, and then the line item section, again, you're not gonna have to touch this where we store key information, things like if you were shipping international, like HTS codes, commercial invoice information, um, LTL, we store like the NMFC codes in class. Um, so we will need that under this section, under each item code you're bringing in. Um, but again, otherwise we set that all up ahead of time um, and we don't ever touch it theoretically. Um, and it's there to print those documents as needed. And then last step is really your rate shop, right? So down here, um, you can click this button to rate shop and call out each API on, that you've set up. You can set up a rule that basically will find the least expensive option for you if you like. Um, so as you bring your orders in, it automatically rates it for you. But if you do click this option here, it's just gonna take a minute to pull in all your rates and show you from lowest to highest, what are your best options for this particular shipment? So you can see here, I have a 92 pound shipment. And as this comes in, you're gonna see that UPS, I believe is gonna come like third in line here. Um, and then you have the choice to make, how do you wanna ship it? Move it to a different carrier or continue along. So here you can see UPS is third in line. It's returning five business days, but right above it is my post office services, right? That I can choose five business days, the same transit time, but in this case, I can move it to parcel select, right? And save almost $100. And if I wanted to, I could easily trigger that here and it would just move it to my easy post account, which is the postage provider we use on the back end, And that would just print your postage label for you um, through Starship, okay? 
So again, you have the option really quick and really quick glance of what you can do from savings perspective right in front of you. Now you don't need to go to another portal to find out who's gonna be cheaper. And the same thing here you'll see from an LTL perspective, I can rate shop my LTL and my parcel carriers together and see, hey, is this cheaper to go LTL or maybe vice versa? You know, so you have that option in that view if you like. If you're happy with that, you go to ship and process, you print all of your labels associated to the shipment, and then essentially um, you move on to your next order. So as this writes back to QuickBooks, everything again is in real time. Um, and then basically if I open up QuickBooks here and go to my order, there you'll see, here's all my four tracking numbers. I can put things like line items in here, what was packed in each box. So if someone wanted to come back in here, um, the carrier I used to ship it with, and then the applied rates, we do have things like freight tools that we can build out as well. So we can add markups back into QuickBooks automatically. If you like us to, you don't have to. Um, and then we also update this custom field if you wanna set it up called Starship Ship Status with the word process. So it's just another kind of a check and balance if you call it that. So again, that's kind of the integration. That's kind of what Starship does uh, overall. Um, and then real quick uh, to just review kind of the dashboard and the analytics, right? We give you a lot of information at your fingertips. So things like a distribution map where we can plot your shipments across the country, you know, kind of the red areas, your hot zones, greens, you're growing in intensity, but it kind of shows you where you're not shipping product to. So you can drill into this even further and add additional filters. Like if you want to look at a certain carrier, you can do that. Um, you can look at other criteria if you like, but this is really good for expansion purposes, carrier negotiations, right? So you know exactly where you're shipping to. And when you sit down, you can kind of hone into those lanes um, and ask your carrier to kind of sharpen the pencil, if you want to call it, right? On some discounts that they're providing to those shipping lanes. Um, you have all of these charts out of the box that you can run with as well. So like package volumes, LTL volumes, cost, right? And again, same concept, you can drill into any one of these. You can change the dates if you like. So if you wanna look at a different date range, you can come in here and see right away what your trend looks like. Why are you down in July? Was the business shut down? Was it not, right? If you need to drill in, you have a whole report database that you can look at as well. <laughs> so things like address corrections, late deliveries, international details, um, those applied versus contracted rates. So what you're getting quoted versus what you've set up as markups, you can kind of see the variances there as well. Those can be all downloaded if you need be in PDF or Excel. Um, however you wanna look at these, again, very simple to set up and run your own individual reports as needed. So you can come in here and say, I wanna look at my past three months and show my report and then basically see what that looks like um, right up on the screen and make sure there's no one that you need to go target with maybe a different type of rule as well. So, um, so again, you have accessibility to all of this right at your fingertips without calling your carrier reps. And then lastly, your notification emails, right? You can set up however you like in this example, right? So I'm just gonna show you a quick example here with UPS, right? So you can make it look and feel however you like, make it as personal as you like as well, but these are basically you know, times where you can give your customer all the information they need to eliminate any callbacks to customer care, right? So you can put things like the order number, carrier, when to expect delivery by, give them a hyperlink right out to the UPS website, right? So they can track their own order, maybe a coupon code for a future order, a future product announcement, whatever it may be as well. So you got a lot of information here. Uh, but again, definitely encourage you to take a deeper dive into Starship and see all the advantages that we do offer versus what Shipgear can do for you today. Um, I do have Jason's and Alicia's information here. Um, you can feel free to reach out to either um, you know, person uh, to get more information or kind of schedule a private demo um, and they would be happy to help you. Um, but we do definitely appreciate the time this afternoon and we hope we kind of uh, share some valuable information with all of you. Thank you.